Thanks for tuning in. This is Jerry Laycock from Lennon Athletics. Today we're going to show you a nice little med ball complex. So the whole circuit, whole routine, jump with one of these suckers. You could also use a basketball, soccer ball, whatever you have access to. Doesn't need to be weighted. This is 10 pounds, as high as I would usually go for this type of routine. Pretty challenging, mostly core and conditioning focused, but we're going to get a few of the big muscle groups like the legs involved as well. So great little routine, add it at the end of the workout, uh, throw it if you're pairing up with some cardio, or just if you're at the cottage or something like that, that's all you have access to, great little circuit as well. So we're going to start out with a big movement, your squat thruster, okay, really good bang for your butt here, so we're going to squat down, elbows and knees, we're just going to press that sucker up overhead, feel like we're taking a uh, free throw basketball, so we don't press the arms first, and then squat, it's going to start to ground up, everything anchors off of each other to create that perfect synergy. If you want to add an extra little bit of toughness to it, you can throw the little toss at the top. Okay, just like wall ball and crossfit. We want to make sure we're absorbing the catch into the next rep. Great little exercise there. Next is kind of a fun one. We're going to do some overhead slams. The emphasis so is feeling through a catapult. So we're not just throwing our arms down. We're actually actively using our core to slam the ball through our arms. Just finish off. We're slamming through. Carefully your face on this one. We're going to go for about 10 reps here. Slam and move, get some good power into it. Then we're going to go into a sledgehammer slam. We're just going to rotate, still slamming over the nose. So, okay, if you like the hands, we're going to say east west here. We don't want to push the ball to the ground. We want to slam with our core, so hands stay outside the ball. We're slamming through, get a nice little rhythm. And that's a nice fun one. We're going to go for 10 per side on that one. Okay, tough little exercise, that should get the heart rate up. Next, we've got a reverse lunge with a twist. So we're going to step back, just a little twist over the knee, a little twist over the knee. If you want to make that a little bit tougher, we can add a little slam to the side. A little slam to the side forces you to stay in the lunge a little bit longer. Aim for about 10 side there as well. Then we've got an RDL, a couple progressions here we can work with. First thing, we're just going to hug the ball, okay? Focus again on making sure that uh, hip joint is really the only thing that swings the movement. So we're going to rotate down. Take your feet through the floor, get as horizontal as you can, squeeze the butt through. If you want to make it a little bit tougher, just hang the ball, reach for the toes, and look for that nice stretch of the hamstring. Make sure the body's nice and rigid, shoulders pinned. If you want to take it a step further, okay, this is a tough one. We're going to extend and try and press the ball in overhead and really create as much length as possible. Bring it in, drive the knee. Great stability exercise. Use that a lot with uh, baseball players and stuff like that. All right, next we're just going to hit the deck for some core. Okay, so we're down. We got hand and feet pass here. So we're going to come up, trying to pass the ball right at the hip line. Okay, go get it with the feet. Squeeze the ball, good extension. Come up, go get it. Okay, try your best not to let anything touch the floor. So we're going to keep elevated, keep the tension on front. I'm going to make sure that lower back is staying nice and grounded so we don't put too much stress there. Okay, good stretch. Again, you can always just shorten the bridge if that's a little challenging, turn it into one of those types of atomic crunches. And if it is a little too tough to hold with the feet, no problem. Just keep the ball in the hands the whole time. Okay, next one, chest pass. So use your discretion here, okay? Just basically want to press from the floor. No help from the legs or anything. Shoot it up as high as you feel comfortable. Getting a bit of work there on that one. That's kind of a fun one as well. Then we'll set up, this is a sneaky hard scissor pass. Turn that one leg up, pass through the legs. I'm just going to kind of alternate. This is a big ball for this one. We're aiming for about 10 per side on that. And then the last exercise of the circuit, we're going to squeeze the ball on the feet. So we got a little bit of extra weight, attacking the low abs and the hip flexors here. And then we're just going to throw a crunch into it. Okay, if you want to ramp that up, I'm going to go elbow to opposite knee. Make a little extra movement that way. Okay, about a minute break in between, two, three, four sets of that. Definitely get the core smoked. Should be good, feeling good the next day. Thanks.